Hi, this is Ali Tom Alamine, and today we're going to talk about Breatharian sex talk, or the spiritual sex talk. And today we're going to talk about Brahmacharya. That's in two words. Brahma means the ultimate, and Charya means the path. This is the ultimate path of spirituality when one masters or understands using their sexual energy for their energetic spiritual growth. Because the light has the value that you give it. It's not for everybody, but for those who choose to take this path, we're going to do our best to educate, to make a doorway so one can benefit on this endeavor. So when you deal with Brahmachari, the idea, it's a little different than celibacy. Because here in the West, celibacy just means all or nothing or abstinence from. And that's not what it's saying at all when you're dealing with sexual cultivation. Because what people wonder, well, if this part of spirituality, we were meant to pro procreate, and if humanity didn't procreate, then we wouldn't be around. So that's why this is far-fetched from what people are saying what sexual energy is into your, your life spiritually. And the ultimate level is renunciation when you get there or when it's needed. Now, Brahmachari comes in four different levels. Listen at this, and everybody is at some type of level or some type of degree, but you gotta go through all of them. Or you, you don't have to go to the renunciation part, but it will better you. Now, what happens is the first level is education. Sex education. Because this is what this is. We're giving out sex education right now. Uh, the first level is education. Instead of a, a young man or a young woman thinking about sex and all of this stuff, they should educate themselves in life so they can better find out what they're good at. Um, this is how you're directing your sexual energy, to be creative, to see what you're going to go into in life because there's so many people who get pregnant or get somebody pregnant before they even find out that they have that can create a livelihood, take care of the young and stuff like this or what they just created. So you should go through an education in life, basically a soul in your oats. Now, soul in your oats don't mean you having sex with everybody, trying everybody out. It means that, so you could do a lot of things, a lot of things when you don't have young children. Some of you who out there, you know that. When you have children, that does lock you in because that's a new responsibility of your life. So your first years, you should get educated test the waters of life of the different experiences before you even think about having that sexual union with your body. That's the first level, education. And that usually goes from zero all the way up to 21 to 25 if we was to give an age on it. Educate yourself so you can really get a foundation, not only for yourself, but also for the future offspring you're about to br uh, bring in and that also educate you about other people look how many people picked the wrong spouse you thought it was love and they had nothing to do with that or it could have at the time but you weren't educated enough about life in order to maintain a relationship so again this education goes wide on your different life experiences so when you're ready to go into the second phase of uh, brahmachari because it's all about sexual energy now it's called the householder years. When you do decide, or if you decide to have a baby, uh, get with a spouse and stuff, you're educated enough for number one, to at least get the right person where y'all got an agreement, y'all are going to do this together. There's so many people get into a relationship where they're blaming each other that one person is taking parenting more seriously than the other and all this other stuff. That should have been worked out before it even came to fruition. For instance, there was a young man one time who didn't get married yet. He had his fiance, but they were looking for houses. And he came back and I said, did you find a house? He said, yeah, this would be perfect. It's in a good neighborhood. The school is not far away from when we have our child. And we got an extra bedroom, you know, for where the child uh, get grown. A lot of people don't think like that. That is real key. That is called family planning. You don't wait till after you got your family going and then all of a sudden you need family planning counseling. Family planning counseling should come way before you even think about uh, the relationships. I know this sounds old school, but it's not. This hurts you in life when you don't plant your sexual energy correctly. This goes for all of us. Now, the second level is you're in your householder years. Now listen at that. 
See, sex can build a house or sex can, used the wrong way, can tear it down. So your crystal clear, like we was talking about holding an orgasm, holding your seed, but when you're giving it to one person, y'all making this energy exchange, that's a whole different ball game because y'all connecting on so many levels. Not only you're connecting on a uh, physical level, y'all are working as a team now in life, so y'all working on an emotional and also a mental level. So it's not like you are draining each other's energy. You should be giving back each other's energy. You are also, your main goal of a relationship is for your spiritual cultivation, your energy cultivation. You shouldn't have to come home with somebody giving you a headache. That should be your home, your householder years. It is your having your children. That's how you use your sexual energy. That shows it right there. Uh, both of y'all should be dedicated on that agenda because that is your offspring. So again, you're directing all your time and energy into how you produce in your sexual energy. It was more than just a sexual act now, it is manifested. So that's the second level of brahmachari. First level education, you're getting educated, you're getting something up here instead of just using your body. Second level, the householder years, if you plan on getting into a relationship, you know how to get into a better quality one. I meet so many people right now in their late 50s and 60s who want another relationship again. Why is that? They already got kids, grandkids, because the other ones, they know they didn't have enough knowledge. It really didn't go the way they thought it should go. But now they feel they got enough knowledge accumulated that they want to start a new relationship or a new family. I meet many older men who want to meet this, start a new family all of a sudden because they messed up the first or second ones or they really wasn't in there like they should now. No, no shooting a finger, but that's what happens. Um, with this idea or this thought process. But when you learn brahmachari, it's, it breaks down a lot of that because now you learn to get educated first through life experiences, true education. Then you learn to plant your seed right into your householder years, you understand. And then third, we're going into the forester years or the forestry years. Now, why is it called forestry? Forestry is like a word, like a wilderness or you're going on your pilgrimage. So your whole goal in life, see, I'm not talking to everybody. I'm talking to people who's on a spiritual path and want to take it higher. This is for number one. Now, there's a saying that says, no matter who you having sex with, constantly, over and over again, the physical is going to wear itself out soon. Let's make that clear. And you'd be surprised how much marriage counseling is going on all over the world for people trying to get along and try to get that mental thing going because the physical wore itself out. Now it's all mental. So the forestry years, you know, once you got with that person uh, or the celibacy nature, y'all made that commitment to one another or at least plant y'all seeds with each other. Um, then you go into the forestry years because the kids, children do take a lot to raise. All they have is wants, you understand? Want this, want that. So. Basically, they usually say, when you are raising children, you ain't even in the spiritual game because you're being pulled too much into the physical. That's understandable. I know you, I know this is going to be a little shaky on a lot of people. But, oh, I know a lot of people got children and they're spiritual and they and they got this spouse and they... I understand that, but we're not talking about... We're talking about people who's at the higher levels and degrees. You can't compare a person who's in that situation to one who is freed up full dedication, full sexual energy going directly into the goal. This is what we're talking about. So your forestry years come about. The children got older. One day they're going to get old enough to leave the house and whatever, start their own life. They ain't going to be there forever. So that's why I tell people on the breath therian journey, they want to become this breath therian, not eating, drinking, and they got these little children they try to raise in the household. Your spouse ain't down for it. You're causing problems. That's what you're doing. Wait focus and be healthy, the children will get older where you'll have a lot more time to cultivate yourself. And see, brahmacharya is so deep. See, by you making those first commitments from the education years, then the householder years, that take a lot of static off of you really putting uh, energy into your family, raising your kids, you understand? So you shouldn't really have that much headache with them because you did invest a lot of energy into it. We're just talking real again because it trickles on. And you're also telling, showing them the breath of the Brahmachari method. Encouraging them to get education before dating. 
getting a boyfriend, girlfriend. It's all right to have that, but stay out of that sexual arena. Or give them true education. Because once they open up that door, it's going to lead your life a whole different direction. And so many people are suffering about it, about unplanned pregnancies, all this other stuff, uh, diseases, all this stuff come about. Uh, heartbreak, emotions, going a certain direction where you could have been doing so much else with your life, using your sexual energy for something else, but you never really did your dream. All of that got blowed just for a few seconds of uh, folly. So anyway, you're in the forestry years where even you and your spouse physically, y'all still love each other. But that physical thing, like we said, it ain't highlighted like it was when y'all were younger. The children has grown. So now both of y'all can help each other cultivate that mental, spiritual understanding. That's your forestry years. You understand that you're married and everything. And I don't say y'all got to stop having sex with each other, but it's more out of what? higher level and degree where y'all understand each other's fluids, each other's biology and stuff like this. Then last on the breath of uh, Brahmachari journey, Brahma meaning the ultimate, Chaturya meaning the path. The ultimate level is renunciation. Just say if a spouse do die or whatever, why would you want to get married again? See, you wouldn't want to get married again or do it again if you gave good quality in the first one. Usually when people want to start a new family or start a new marriage and stuff like this because there's things they still want to pick up with with that desire or they're afraid to be alone. But if you cultivate this sexual energy right on a brahmachari path, you'll love those time periods or you understand that they're necessary to be alone because you are a person that's on a spiritual path. So there's a there's balance to take place being with people, you understand, being with a connected relationship, but there's also, you need to be alone at times to cultivate your own energy, to cultivate your own voice. There's even higher level knowledge where the couples sleep in two different beds because if y'all sleeping together all the time, y'all get used to each other's energy. So if one person's energy go down, you won't have enough strength to really heal your spouse. Y'all should be able to heal one another because I don't care how long much y'all get along, there's nobody have the same energy that you have. Okay, so we could lift that in the bud. So it's your responsibility to cultivate your own spiritual uh, energy and allow them to cultivate theirs. And when y'all do get together, y'all can better heal each other because y'all didn't compromise each other's uh, energy. That's why there's some cultures where the woman is having her time in a month, she don't sleep with the man or don't even hug him because she's actually hemorrhaging. She's losing energy. I know what most women say, I feel like I got more energy. We ain't talking about that. You're losing energy, you're irritable, and you can actually drain energy from other people around you uh, being in that form of a uh, thought process and stuff like that. So now when you're going into the renunciation years, we're not even saying somebody died. Y'all still could be married, but y'all just supposedly agree to keep cultivating your energy so it could come from the lower chakra and stay up feeding the brain, stay up nourishing the brain. So when our sexual energy goes up like that, it's getting all these nutrients, all these proteins. Uh, we talked about this earlier. Uh, all these carbohydrates that's needed. And this fructose is going to the brain. It's lubricating the brain. And the brain ain't got to look elsewhere for you to have that hunger feeling or be a slave to the lower energies to try to recompensate that. So you're somewhere else. And, you, and remember what I said in my teachings too? The long, see, in a, the, more, the older you are, actually the higher your energy. Because this bone that's up under here, which is the physical structure of us, the longer it's in this realm, just like artifacts. I'm out here in Arizona right now. There's artifacts all out here. The older ones have more radiation coming from them. They're more radiated. So therefore, the longer you be in this realm, the more radiated you become. My energy is higher than a man or a woman that's 20 years old. No ifs, buts, ands about it. Especially I'm on a cultivation with the knowledge I have now. I mean, this is where it's at. And then, uh oh, this is where the power at. I'm in Brahmacharya. In other words, the seed is going back into the blood, circulating over the a body. You understand, you get stronger and stronger as the years go past. We understand there's challenges. I talked about that on other videos. But when you do stay in the game and keep getting stronger in your renunciation years, this is what is the writings of ancient times come for real. You're no longer a man. You are a mind. Everything is mind. Everything is mental. You're a consciousness. 
you don't feel nothing, no aches and pains in your body no more. Everything is circulating fluently. And then we're dealing with electromagnetism. If the electro uh, energy is high, the, ma the magnetism is high and vice versa. For a female, if the magnetism is high, the electricity is high. So you are living a life creating straight from mind. You are a mental consciousness. That's why they show us the symbolism of a Christmas tree. A full-blown Christmas tree opened up with all the lights on. That's the fully opening of a consciousness. This is heavy, ain't it? So I hope you got a lot out of this. This is the four levels of brahmacharya. Education. Go get educated. Number two, householder years. Yeah, be a good householder. If you're going to have a marriage, maybe it could be the best marriage you ever can want to make it. You understand? In most marriages, they get a divorce because of finances and sex. It's time to knock that, knock, knock that in the bud. You wouldn't have to cry about finances if both of y'all had high energy, you knew how to manifest stuff. And then you wouldn't be crying about sex if you both understood the value of that energy and know how to cultivate it and help each other to eat healthy, eat less, and keep y'all energy high so y'all can enjoy this beautiful world a lot better. Then the forestry years, you'd be looking for it for that moment when the kids got grown, you got other hobbies, other things you really wanted to get off your chest. You're healthy because you haven't been spinning and draining your sexual energy all over the place. So then you could take those years. Not only you got the physical energy, now you got the mind. Have you ever heard people, if only if I knew what I knew now. Now you can say that boldly and still be functioning in a young acting body. This is awesome. And then when you go to your renunciation years, that's a whole nother ball game. See, there's levels and degrees after that. But when you renounce that and you've got your fullness of your energy that's in you, you're not wasting it nowhere. It's going back inside, nourishing the organs, nourishing the brain, uh, putting out an energy, a high vibration. Uh, this is the immortality levels. Yes, we went there. Longevity slash immortality. It cleans up your skin. It cleans up your eyes. You feel real good inside, flexible, just from you understanding sexual energy cultivation. Your meditations will go so high, it will go to other levels, other degrees. And I hope you got a lot out of this again. This is Ellie Tom Elamine, and I love you. Brahmacharya, the ultimate path.